eggs. Yep, it's month three, and we're going to do a temperature test and a float test and crack them open and see if we still have good eggs for month three of unrefrigeration. So, we'll do a quick temperature check. about 70 degrees everything is about 70 degrees down here right now the air conditioning has been running in the back constantly because northeast has been basically been hit by two heat waves in the last few weeks so let's take these upstairs we'll do a float test for you and I think we're gonna make poached eggs today so this should be interesting okay we got our two eggs that are three months old unrefrigerated and a lot of Viewers last month were putting in the comments that I should float them first just to make sure that the eggs are still good before I even bother cracking them. Uh, the premise is if they sink, the eggs are still good. If they float, um, bacteria has gotten into the eggs and they're floating because there's actually an air pocket inside the egg. So as long as these sink, they should be good. So come on in, let's see what happens here. And they sunk. So let's uh, get another bowl real quick and crack them open. Crack them into two little holders here. Actually, what we'll do before that, let me rinse off the um, mineral oil. I forgot to do that, so we'll do that real quick. Okay, let's crack them open. Stay. That looked kind of runny. That egg's bad. And I'm starting to get a sulfur smell from it. And this one's still good. So we're going to dump this real quick because I don't feel like smelling sulfur. Which is interesting, it must be just starting to go bad because it still does not have an air pocket into it, but yeah, you can start getting a smell when it's going bad. Whew. Yeah, let's take the next egg. It's sunk down nicely. Let's clean it off real quick. That egg's good. So here's three month old eggs. We got one bad egg so far. You can actually smell the sulfur as soon as you open it. And we're gonna go ahead and cook these eggs up nice and thoroughly just in case. Okay, we got our water boiling, so we're gonna go ahead and put our three month old eggs in. Hot steam. Let those cook for a few minutes. Some people like their poached eggs uh, with the yolk nice and runny. Since these are three month old eggs, uh, we're going to err on the side of caution and make sure the egg is fully cooked through. So it's going to be like a hard boiled poached egg. So in a few minutes, we'll be back as soon as these are done. Okay, we're going to pull the eggs out now after cooking. That's actually two eggs. Let's go take a seat and we'll check this out. Okay, before we even try eating it, let's make some visual observations of these eggs. They were two, but considering the membranes that held the yolk and the uh, white area it has basically fallen apart. So it's actually boiled itself into like one big egg and the white and the yolk it's kind of fluffy it doesn't have as much uh, strength to it so I don't know if like the protein bonds are breaking down over time but we're gonna give it a shot and see what we think about it wow, that 
That is really fluffy. Yeah. That doesn't taste right. The white. I haven't tried the white. The yolk, the yolk is like missing a taste. The white is almost like chewy. It's 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 not bad. But the texture is definitely different. That's yeah, boy. Okay, so after I tried the yolk and it's got a bit of a sulfur taste to it and the texture is completely wrong. I'm kinda getting a little worry on these eggs. What did you think of the egg white? It was yeah, it was definitely different tasting. It was chewy almost like a hard boiled egg would be and the yolk same thing you can actually use your finger like you would a hard boiled egg but it's still soft it's not completely hard boiled so no. the texture is kind of bad on these eggs um there is a hint of a sulfur taste even though we cooked them all the way through to make sure um the taste is actually very lacking like I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. It's, it has a lot less flavor to it, except for a hint of sulfur. Honestly, after cracking that one egg open and smelling the sulfur and actually seeing the egg yolk just fall apart, and then after cooking these and getting a slight hint of sulfur taste, the eggs are getting like a fluffy texture without even doing anything to them. Cottage cheese. Yeah, actually, yeah, warm, warm cottage cheese. Yeah. Um, I'm going to stop this experiment at the month three mark because of what we've noticed here. We only have five eggs left and I'd rather not continue because we're already getting question marks going on with the safety of these eggs. Um, the other aspect is also since we are in the spring summertime in northern Delaware and we've had a lot of heat waves, our basement area, the temperature has not stayed at 68 degrees from when we first started this series. It's been fluctuating probably from 68 to almost 77 degrees. So the temperature variation might actually have a role in why these eggs didn't last. If you're a person who has a actual cold storage or root cellar that will keep it closer to 60 degrees year round, I could easily conceive that these would last the full six months or eight months or even nine if you get it down to 55 degrees and it's a constant temperature. So. We're going to stop this experiment and definitely say in 68 to 75 degree temperature on, a, on average constant, you can store your eggs safely for at least a minimum of two months, which also if you have your own flock of hens, chickens, whatever you want to call it, because we don't yet, um, it's great for a month or two storage, especially if you're heading close to the winter time and your uh, egg production is going to go down. It's a great way to do a short-term storage. Um, well, of course, at that point in time also, the temperatures in your basement or your uh, root cellar is going to come down. So you will get longer storage. But for residential use, one to two months with fluctuating temperatures is definitely on the safe side. Well, maybe we can also do this project as it gets closer to the winter. Yeah, we might restart it. Um, Come September or October, we'll see uh, what else we got going on the table, and we'll do it through the winter months. Because at that point, our basement definitely never really gets over 62, 63 degrees, uh, and we can run it through a winter month test. So we'll keep in, we'll keep that in mind for when fall rolls around. So thanks for watching. Leave uh, leave your information in the comments, and remember, float your eggs and give them a nice little quick sniff test. Till next time.